Hey, it's Eric back with another Eric Hepperly Designs WordPress tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the backup uh, duplicator plugin. The duplicator is a plugin by Snap Creek, and what it does is it allows you to make migrations and backups. Um, I'm going to get right into it and show you sort of step by step some of the steps I'm not going to do because I've already done, but I'll, I'll show you how to get there. I just won't click to apply or whatever. Okay, so first thing you do is you go to wordpress.org, right? And in plugins, you type in duplicator. Boom, it'll be this result that says duplicator WordPress migration plugin. You notice it has almost 2,000 uh, users or downloads, and it also has five stars, which is a great indicator. And it has this symbol right here, these three dots. Okay, so click on it, and you can either download it directly, or you can go over into your WordPress and download it that way, which we've covered how to download and install plugins in a different video, and I'll link that below for you. Um, so what we're gonna do right now is you'll see down at the bottom here, after you install and activate duplicator, you get a little duplicator, indicator so what you want to do is go to packages because that's where you make your new uh, duplicator backups so notice I there's no packages found so that means there's no backups um, you can choose when you make a backup you can choose to keep it in your packages file or you can go to you know bulk actions and delete them right now we're going to do create new and I'll show you a little bit about how I, the nomenclature of, of my backups. Once you name your backup, it, it downloads as a zip file. You can't rename that zip file and expect it to work. I'm not sure why, but that's been my experience. So I'll show you how, um, how I think naming, uh, the simplest naming structure is. Okay, so I put the year... Then the month is a two-digit numerical number, and then the date. So 2018, 10:31. It's Halloween today in the United States. And let's see, the time right now is 7:23 a.m. So in 24-hour time, that would be 0723. So I put the time on the end in case I make another backup on the same day. This part in the middle says uh, what my login is but that's not what we want what we want to know when i see this zip file is that it's from erichepperly.com so i use a code for eric hepperly as ehw that lets me know that it's me and then just go to next and it might take a second but if you've got uh, high speed internet it shouldn't take too long <clears throat> And so now what it's going to do is it's going to scan my existing website, uh, ericheperly.com, and it's going to look for different things. It's going to look for files with ex you know, extremely long names as, as far as like the whole path. It's going to look for large files as in file size. And it'll look for some other things also. Now it just finished, and you notice we've got all these good indicators. But down here in size checks, we've got a red notice. And if we look up here, we can see uncompressed all <coughs> this archive altogether is taking up 700.23 megabytes. That's including all the database files and especially the media files because I've got a lot of images because this is a blog. So if I go into size checks, it'll show me a little bit about, you know, what folders are huge and what files are huge. And it'll kind of show me um, where they're located so I can decide, well, do I want to exclude those or do I want to change something before I do backup? Now, you don't have to worry about large file sizes for the most part if you use Duplicator Pro. I'm just using Duplicator free, so there's a couple workarounds I, you know, we have to do if we're using the free one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 
uh, let's see, in the, let's go with, uh, yes, continue with the build process, and we'll do build. And what's going to happen is, it's either going to build a, you know, a huge uh, backup archive, or it's going to fail because it's too big. Now there is PHP settings that you'll need to have configured correctly on your server um, to be able to, you know, download without having um, hiccups and stuff like that. We might talk about those PHP settings in a different video, but for now, This is going to build, and I'll come back when the building is done. Okay, so <clears throat> although the duplicator didn't finish, it's done with uh, what it was doing. So that process stopped, and it actually had a build status host build interrupt. It says a server cannot complete the build due to setup constraints. <clears throat> to help you get past this, there's three options. Of course, you can try again, you can do the two-port install, you can configure your server, or you can try a different version of Duplicator. So it says, uh, da, 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 da. that's new, I've not seen that one. Oh, it's a beta, so they, they wanna let you try the beta. We're not gonna try beta today, you can do that if you want. Uh, configure the server. Configure the server. This option is available on some hosts that allow you to adjust server configurations. So you see uh, PHP max execution time, server status. Mm -hmm. And you can read the package log if you want. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to do this two part install. So see, we got this error. <clears throat> What are we going to do? So we'll go back. Two-part install, by the way, says uh, click the button below to go back to step one. On step one, uh, the archive, the database only check will be checked. Complete the package build and follow the quick start two-part install instructions. Now, to, in order to keep this video small, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make another one. And I hope you'll join me for the next one where we'll talk about the two-part install and and we'll actually go through the two-part uh, backup and thank you if you like this video like it uh, I'd love to have you subscribe and have a great day